About halfway zoom. Okay, that's what we got. Okay, what we're looking at here is the angelic beans flying about. There's a war going on in heaven, in the third heavens. Second heavens. There's billions of angelic beings in their craft, and some in, I don't know, their own little energy balls. And this battle's been raging for quite a while. But soon, it's going to be kicked out of heaven and confined to this atmosphere. And if people don't believe this, I you know just the validity of the Bible and what it talks about. This is, they're not extraterrestrial, they're not from another planet, never have been. They've been. This is just some proof, if you have, of the magnitude of how many of these rascals are up in the atmosphere. Only can see a lot of them in infrared. And I don't know what's filtering them close to the sun like this does, but it makes them visible for brief moments. <coughs> if you want to vo validate the Bible and it's infallibility and its inspiration check out some of the publications by Dr. Ivan Panin back in the 30s and 40s a mathematician and he will it will astound you of all the amazing things that the scriptures how they're put together and how Simple human beings alone could not have written the book. Make it in a mathematical rhythm like it is. How I can never skip a beat from the Old to the New Testament. Genesis. And if you read the real old, old scripture, probably one of the oldest books besides Job is the book of Enoch. We'll explain to you about the 200 of these rascals that first conspired to leave their habitation of the heavenlies and come down here to. Uh, Pregnate earthling women, and we have the offspring of the Nephilim. And then you've got a lot of this Greek mythology and a lot of this stuff the old statuesque of the half creatures and half man, and I just like the Temple of Pan at the base of Mount Hermon. He was half man, half goat, and this chimeras that. They were genetically altered. The same thing that's going on right now, only at an accelerated rate. DARPA in the United States and Europe. These little rascals flying and the ones that's we can't see on Earth, or we can't find any trace of when we look at them, we can spot them, get glimpses of them. Bigfoot and such and such. This is all part of it. And it's going to get more activity as the 
end of days approaches with the second coming. Jesus is returning, and this is the angelic war that's going on in the heavens. You know, if anybody's got a good video editing program, we can take this video and check it out, play with it, do some zooming and stuff. I just got an old Sony. It's a 60 optical zoom and a I forget what is it, 200 digital zoom, 2000 digital zoom. Works real good for this stuff, but I wish I had night vision, night scope. I can catch a lot of this stuff, this activity going on at night. A lot of people don't believe it. And I don't know. But you can tell this is not bugs. I'm going to do these videos even in the dead of winter, and you're going to see the same thing. Same results. Probably a lot cleaner because they won't be the bugs and gnats flying around. Just the other little fiery darts of the wicked and <coughs> these little beings, big beings, these angelic forces. That will materialize before your very eyes. This is just amazing how much activity there is going on right now above us. People don't realize it just amazes me. There's a guy on the internet. Noroy O, let's see, O8. He turned me on to this little way of doing this. If you don't have all the fancy camera equipment, see a lot of this stuff zooming around up there. <laughs> Too far away to be a bug. Too large to be a bug. And a lot of them you can see, a lot of them have light energy or light prism inside of them too. You know, I'm just a dumbass when it comes to this stuff. But I like to prove a point. They're out there. This is going on. Scripture is accurate. People need to get, get it together and start taking this stuff as literal. You know, this is all amazing stuff in the last 20 years. Archaeology is on Earth, on the Earth. It's proved Scripture. You know, proved that there were certain kings that were living when they were living. They found the coins and the pottery with inscriptions on it. They've even found Daniel's temple on the outskirts of Jerusalem. It just amazes me. That, and you don't read about this in the American press because, you know, these people have the authority and the power of the news media, which is all satanic. It's all Keep us dumb. You know, put the fluoride in the drinking water. Do all kinds of other stuff to dumb us down. Take over the schools and put them in the hands of the governments. Don't teach us history anymore. Don't teach us facts. Just teach us that the government's going to take care of us gonna do everything for us and it's, it's so sad because America Americans are better than this we should know better 
but even the very elect will be deceived. Churches aren't even preaching this, teaching it. It's so sad. It's just coming down the pike. People. People are not going to be ready for what hits the damn fan when it hits the fan. Sorry for all the camera jiggling, jaggling. I'm trying to get, keep it right there so we can get a good view. Zoom in a little more and see what else we can pick up. video I uh, hope you enjoy I will try to keep uploading when I can if I had a million dollars I could put a challenge out there on the net and prove what I'm saying is fact to entice people to dig and do their own thing study yeah there's a battle going on in the heavens ahead before too long and the goal is to annihilate us kill us all oh Satan Claus is wanting to take over and put his little creatures to, without souls to run everything Nice one. travelers zoomy zoomy I'll give you some a good shot of some real good intensive activity here right about peeking over Anyway, this is Wednesday, the 5th. Oh, about 12 o'clock. Yeah. See you guys on the rebound. <laughs>